वेलकम बैक वी विल एडवांस अवर प्रीवियस लेसन इन द प्रीवियस लेसन वी हैव टू फिल्टर्स सो ई एच ओ ई एन आई एक्स फिनिक्स टू गेट ऑल फिनिक्स इज द सिटी एरिजोना एज एड या प्रॉब्लम दैट्स द स्टेट ओके आई थिंक सो एंड आई एम I think I'm right. Okay, Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, okay, first name. Let's search on Boyle. Not Boyle. It's Boyles. Not B O I L E. It's B O Y L E S. B O Y L E S. So, what's going on here? Uh, so we are not uh filtering based on the uh what you call the first name so we will add it here filter and starts with as we are starts with and then first name comma text in put one dot text this is the first criteria and then we'll do an and for those who have or not from programming background and means both of these conditions will be applied <coughs> let's check are we missing something so this matches here this nice and condition okay so we filter this this condition and this condition this one Ah, because that's last name. Plus, it's beyond three hundred and thirty-eight. So we will remove this. We we'll remove this. It was beyond hundred, so we still have that delegation problem. still have the delegation problem new york first name jenny j e n i list starts with first name text input one dot text and is blank text input two dot text is empty text city is equal to text input two dot text let's put this inside Did you get it? Removing the bracket means different than it ends only with the first one and then operates on it. <coughs> so the second, remember this in the this logical operations. So all of these together is one condition. So it's always nice. 
to put all the conditions in bracket that way we are clear Stephen will test it we are going to test thoroughly this video is about testing man okay now we are going to quickly add we can keep adding as many conditions so let's insert input text input oh so, uh, my bad this is dead bigger so label and the label will put here publish date p u b l i s h -E, published date now we are going to add a condition of simple for those who are from we, like i said we'll always keep this <coughs> brackets published publish date that's the sharepoint field publish date okay remember is equal to date picker b i c k e r one dot selected date these three conditions must be satisfied Anyone on 8 16th from New York? No. Plus T1? Not at all. Let's move the city. Let's see. Let's see what we let's begin from May 1st. That's when we got our first data. Angelic. Let's put City Phoenix before E N I X. Phoenix. God. Let's go. I've never been to Phoenix, but no. You keep hearing about popular city new york yes i've lived there almost two years ah manhattan bronx brooklyn queens battery park you name it i've lived there man <laughs> new york now first name we can search so this is working if i remove this still working because starts with I, if I put K, Kate, no, Kate is not there. Remove this. If I change the date to 2, now Angelic will be gone. Jenny will come. Okay. So now we have a filter with three conditions. And you can keep adding. That's, that's your homework. That's your homework. Always filter. Filter. Then this is... Uh, this is what your list the data source i would love you to put these brackets around starts with and this if it is blank then it will go to the next step so if it is empty next step if none of this is true then it will match and do this so remember this after this this after this it will come and execute this so one of this will run if it is blank it's not going to match city against blank publish date date picker one dot selected date you're matching the date and you can do things like uh, uh, begin date start date end date like that you can put conditions from and to or begin date end date uh, that's it we will continue no i'm i'm going to do more videos on filter 